Many school districts enforce a dress code these days, and a violation can lead to students being pulled out of class or even suspended. This leaves a lot of parents wondering where the line is when it comes to our child's rights. With us today to talk about this is attorney and legal analyst Annalise Getz. Annalise, welcome. Thanks for having me. You know, in school, I remember having to put my arms down to make sure my shorts weren't too short, and I feel like girls got the brunt of it. It is that girls definitely get the brunt, girls and minorities. Under the Constitution's Equal Protection Clause, as well as Title IX, public schools are required to treat boys and girls the same. Where we tend to see an issue with this is in the dress code, because not only do the rules have to apply the same to boys and girls, but they can't be enforcing a underlying gender stereotype. And there are even guidelines when it comes to hair. I know in the black community, you know, braids and extensions is very, very common. And there's actually policies against this. How is that not, how is there not a racial bias there? There is a racial bias there, and for years it was going just kind of under the radar. Now, thankfully, we've had recently had two young women from Massachusetts stand up and say, this is an implicit discrimination yeah. against especially our little African-American girls yeah. who put their hair in braids so that they can participate in the gym classes and the swimming classes. And when you restrict that, you restrict their access to equal education. You know, my dad raised me. He didn't know what the heck to do with my natural hair, put it in braids, and I am so grateful for that. I hope these things change. Annalise, great information as always. Thank you. Thanks for having me.